after a Chinese high-speed boat capsized in the waters near Qinmen, an island of Taiwan. Chinese Coast Guard vessels began patrols to increase pressure on Taiwan. Yoichi Takahashi, former Japanese cabinet advisor and professor, believes that Chinese leader Xi Jinping sees Taiwan reunification as his goal in his third term and must achieve it. However, the political stance proposed by the next Taiwanese president, Lai ching -du, in the election campaign is to maintain the status quo. This is far from Beijing's demand for changing the status quo. The possibility of bridging this gap through dialogue is minimal. Once this issue is resolved by force, what happens to Taiwan will become Japan's concern. And when Taiwan's issue becomes an Asian concern, Japan must take the lead. Recognizing that the current situation is different from before, Takahashi calls on Tokyo to consider adjusting the three non-nuclear principles, implementing nuclear weapons sharing, and exploring joining the trilateral security partnership between Australia, the UK, and the US. Currently, negotiations between Taiwan and China on the high-speed boat incident seem to be encountering difficulties. Liberty Times said both sides held their 15th closed-door meeting in Qinmen on March 3rd. The convener of the Internal Affairs Council, Gao Jin Sumei, insisted on using the term Qinmen boat collision incident in the report. However, the Chinese Coast Guard does not accept this statement and insists they enforce the law and sovereignty protection regulations. The report must be titled, Report on the High-Speed Boat Accident Prevention Project on Land. The legislator of the Democratic Progressive Party, Lin Chun-xian, believes that using the boat collision incident as a legal document reflects the CCP's argument, because the emphasis is on collision rather than presenting it as a law enforcement incident. The official tone here suggests that the demands of the CCP are correct. After 15 rounds of negotiations, the two sides still cannot reach a consensus. Where is the most significant disagreement? Beijing asserts that Taiwan acknowledges it as a malicious collision, and they intend to completely deny the sovereignty and legitimacy of law enforcement forces patrolling the sea. Once accepted, the following propaganda of the CCP will certainly deny Taiwan's law enforcement power. As for an illegal collision incident, the Taipei government will never step into such an obvious trap.